Hello and welcome back to the Unity Dots series. In a group of lessons here, we're going to take a look at some different topics about learning the fundamentals of Dots. And today we're going to look at why do we want to use Dots? Well, one of the key reasons is performance. So a great example of this, you can find many, but Door 407, which is a game dev company that I found as doing my research here, they had a fantastic demo on one of the forums. So let's take a look at that demo now. It uses Unity Dots. I'm not exactly sure which version and just shows highly efficient runtime experience. So here's the demo. I have it running full screen on my computer. Now, if we were getting into the details, I'd tell you about system specs. I'd tell you exactly how many entities we've got moving on here, but let's just dig in and enjoy it for a moment. So lots of things on the screen, and I'm going to use mouse and keyboard to drive around in this world. We're running at a frame rate of 100 to 150 or so. I'm able to move down here and see that what appears to be little dots are actually animated characters. It's the same one character, but each of them running their own logic and their own animation. And we see we have a ton, a ton and a ton. All of them running independently. We got really well over 50 frames a second here. This is just a proof of concept, but you can see just how many different objects we've got here. Let's spin around here again. And this is without any particular optimizations. We can turn on this culling and be able to crank it up and down. And what this does is a certain distance away from the camera, the characters are not animated. They're still being rendered, which would be a great optimization to do. But even if I turn off the culling here, on my pretty beefy game computer, we've got lots and lots of objects running. Now, this type of thing would be possible without dots inside Unity, but we would not be able to render nearly as many objects running this logic animating as we do here. So it's a great, simple example at the scale that you can get when you embrace Unity dots. Thanks very much. I am available for remote contract hire as a Unity game dev doing traditional game object approach as well as Unity Dots development. And also I'm an educator available to create and deliver courses in person and online, pre-made courses or live. And I would love to do more talking about VR, AR, Dots, Web3, and game development with Unity in general. So thanks very much.